am Riley of Dear Viewers. Today I will show you how easy launching a rocket is using the map. And I can show you, it is indeed very, very quick and very, very easy. So I have built a rocket and its name is Save Space One. This may be very new to you because we always hear about saving the Earth, helping the environment. But here it is helping the space, saving the space. You know, when Earth sends the satellites out into the space, the satellites just orbit. And when its lifetime is over, it floats in space like a debris. This can also affect the Earth. And when NASA sends other satellites up into space, those debris satellites can also affect on the satellites that NASA send newly. And NASA and other space companies are helping are sending rockets up into the space so that those rockets can collect the debris from the space so our space can be more good. So today I have a problem and I need to know how much speed I need to send this rocket out in the space because I want this rocket to help clean up all the debris in, with the other rockets in space. So my problem is I need to figure out how much speed I need for this to launch right out into space. So, let, I'm going to show you an equation, okay, that I can help, that can help me figure out the speed that I need this to launch. So, let's pretend that this, that this is the Earth, okay? And here is a mountain. I want to send an arrow all the way, but the arrow just won't go straight because there has to have an effect of the gravity. So if I send it with very, very less energy, it can end up here. A little more energy, end up here. A little more energy, end up here. But if I send it with the extreme energy, then it can, it can, it might just orbit and orbit and orbit and never come and never come back landing into the Earth because that will have a effect of the gravity and this is called the escape velocity. Velocity is another word for speed. So, okay, and now that we know the escape velocity, let me come up, let me come with the equation, okay? So, a, an energy, the kinetic energy, is when there is a when an object is moving. That is called the kinetic energy. And the potential energy, the potential energy is a stationary energy. It also has energy, but it's just stationary, which means it's staying still, it's not moving. And this is called the potential energy, okay? Now, my kinetic energy here is the mass of, is the mass of my rocket times the velocity squared, or I told you what velocity means. It's also another word for the speed, divided by two. This is my kinetic energy here to, uh, for one part. And the, my potential energy, my potential energy is the gravity of the Earth times the mass of the Earth, okay? Times the mass of the rocket. So this is the mass of the Earth, and this is the mass of the rocket, divided by the radius from the center of the Earth, and that is square. Okay? This is my energy. And I need your help to solve this problem. Well, what I can understand first, that I have to take the mass of the rocket of the kinetic energy here, and multiply it to the radius of, from the center of the Earth squared, multiply by that. So if it goes away, if I take that out, then it's velocity squared divided by 2. That's what's left. And it is, hold on, and there is the gravity time of the Earth times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the rocket divided by radius squared, radius squared, divided by the radius squared times uh, here, times the mass of the rocket, okay? And now I can take out the masses of the rockets both, and I have this left. I want the two to go there. So if I want the two to go there, then what's left is the velocity squared. And here it is going to be two and then times or 
2 times the gravity of the Earth times the mass of the Earth divided by radius squared because we took out the mm, mass of the rocket. Now this is what's left. And I only need to figure out the velocity, not the velocity squared. So how do we move the squared? We have to uh, root it. We have to square root it, both of them. So here, we take it out and the velocity is left. And for this, scientists have done math, other math, and figured out that this is actually 11.2 kilometers divided by, uh, or in each, and in every second. So that is a very, very, very long distance in a very, very, very quick time. So I have just figured out that I need this much speed for this rocket to go up into space and collect the debris. Now, you know, this rocket also has three different parts. The payload, the guidance, and the, propul the propulsion. This is the payload, okay? And here is where all the astronauts sit. Okay, here's all where the astronauts sit. That is my payload. Here is my guidance system, this body. But these are not part of the guidance system. These are just the fuel tanks that help the this rocket to get the fuel. When they're done, they just leave it behind and they don't use it to go up to space. And this is the last part, the propulsion. And this is the last part, the propulsion. So now you can, now we figured out how much speed I, we need so that we can send this rocket up into space.